Hi everyone, I'll be going over what you can do if your Windows can't boot due to an issue with your EFI partition. By default, it's generally the first partition here. And for me, it's the 100 megabyte partition. This EFI partition holds the boot files needed to start Windows. So if your Windows doesn't boot, first thing you can do is check your BIOS boot order. Check to see if there's an entry for Windows. If there's no entry, then that means that I can't find any EFI boot files. And if there are no boot files, then I can't start Windows. So I'll demonstrate this and how to fix it. And the fix is not too difficult. In both cases that I'll go through, you'll just need the Windows installation media. And in the first case, I'm going to go into my EFI partition here, and I'm going to delete everything that I can. So I'm going to open up Command Prompt as Administrator. Yes. I'm going to go into Disk Part. I'm going to list my disk. And for me, I only have one disk, so it's going to be Disk 0. Select Disk 0. List my partitions. And the EFI System Partition. It's partition number 1, the 100 megabyte partition. I'm going to select it. And now I'm going to assign a drive letter that's not in use. And if you use a drive letter that is in use, for example, C, it'll tell you. So it says here that the specified drive letter is not free to be assigned. So I'm going to assign it to drive letter Z. And I'm going to exit. And I'm going to go into my Z drive, the EFI system partition. Do a DIR. And there's an EFI directory. DIR. And there are two subdirectories, Microsoft and Boot. So if I go into Microsoft, DIR. And then there's two more directories, boot and recovery. So if I go into boot and do a DIR, and then we see a whole bunch of subdirectories and files. But to make this easier, I'm going to open this up in a window. And then now go into my Z drive. And there's the EFI directory. And there's a Microsoft directory. And then boot. And here in this folder, we see a whole bunch of subdirectories. And these are for different languages. So for example, here's English. Here's Spanish. Here's French. Italian, Japanese, and so on. And scrolling down, and you have some EFI boot files here, some DLLs. So what I'm going to do is going to delete everything I can on the Z drive. And just going to go back to the command prompt. Just going to CD out. I'm going back into my Z drive here, and then I'm going to delete. Yes. And it can't delete this BCD file because it's in use. It's being opened in system, so I'll just skip that one. And same for this file as well, it's in use. Skip that one. And so if I go into it, Microsoft Boot, there's only the BCD file there. Going back out. And then if I do a DIR, and we can see on the free space before there was 72 megabytes free, and then now there's 100 megabytes free. So it's deleted about 28 megabytes or so. And so those files that I can't delete, it's the BCD files. That's the boot configuration data files because they're in use. We'll try and command prompt here as well, and I'll get the same message. And so it's the BCD file and the bcd.log file, the boot configuration data files. And now I'm going to restart my computer and go into the BIOS. All right, and we can see here that there's no Windows boot entry. So it's not able to find any EFI system files. So that means it won't be able to boot into Windows. And now to fix it, you'll need the Windows installation media. So in my case, I'm running Windows 10, but it'll work on Windows 11 as well. And I'm going to boot into the installation media. All right, so I'm in the installation media. And I'm just going to hit Next. And then I'm going to select Repair Your Computer. And if you have the Windows 11 installation media, it'll look like this. And go to Next, Next, and then select Repair My PC, Next. Choose your keyboard layout, and then this screen will show up. And I'm going to do Troubleshoot. Now in this case, I still have the boot configuration data file, so I'll be able to do a startup repair. And then select Windows 10. And we see here it's going to diagnose and then attempt to repair. And then once it's done, it's going to reboot your computer. And depending on your BIOS boot order, 
it may boot directly into Windows, so that means it's fixed, or it may boot into the installation media. And if it goes into the installation media, restart your computer, remove the installation media, and go back into the BIOS. All right, so I'm back in the BIOS, and I can see here that there is a Windows boot entry again. So it's able to find the Windows EFI boot files, and now I'm going to boot into it. All right, so I'm able to boot into Windows as expected. And the second case is if there are absolutely no files in your EFI system partition. So that includes the BCD, the boot configuration data files that I wasn't able to remove from earlier. So if those files are not there or there's an issue with them, then you'll need to have everything recreated. And so if I try to do a startup repair, it's going to diagnose my PC and then it's going to fail. Startup repair couldn't repair your PC. So just going to go back to advanced options, troubleshoot, open up a command prompt. I'm going to type in disk part, list my disk, and it's going to be disk zero. Disk one is my USB drive with the Windows installation media. So select disk zero, list my partitions. It's partition number one. So select partition one. And I'm going to assign drive letter Z like before. Exit. And if I go into the Z drive and I do a DIR, we notice that there's nothing here. It's completely empty. Go back into the X drive that I was in earlier. Now I'm going to make sure that my Z drive is a FAT32 file system partition. So I can use fsutil, fsinfo, volume info, and then on my Z drive. And we can see there that it's FAT32, so that's good. Now, if it's not FAT32, so for example, if it's, let's say, NTFS, so if I do the X drive, for example, we see here that it's NTFS, then we'll need to format it, so that's FAT32, so I'll format it. Format Z drive, forward slash file system, colon FAT32, yes. Volume label, I'll leave it as empty and it's completed. And now I'm gonna use BCD boot to recreate my EFI partition. And I'll need to know where my Windows directory is located. Chances are it's gonna be the C drive. So I'm gonna go C colon, type in DIR, and there it is. So I can confirm that. And now I'm gonna run BCD boot, the Windows directory, and then forward slash S, which specifies the partition for my EFI system partition, which is the Z drive and then forward slash F, and this will tell it the uh, boot mode, which is UFI, and then enter. All right, boot file successfully created. So if we go into my Z drive, type in DIR, and we can see that it's there. DIR, go to the Microsoft, DIR, and go into boot, DIR, and we can see all the files are there. So now I'm gonna exit, and now I'm gonna turn off my computer, unplug the USB drive, and go back into the BIOS. All right, in my BIOS, I can see that there's the Windows boot entry. So it's recreated everything as expected. And now I'm gonna boot into it. All right, it's booted back into Windows. So that's it. That's what you can do if your Windows can't boot because of your EFI partition. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.